Hi, everyone. My name is Tara Ward Thompson. I am Dean of Dual Enrollment and Academic Affairs here at Los Angeles Mission College. And I am presenting to you the Dual Enrollment Program for LA CCD or Los Angeles Community College District for Puck Schools. Thank you all for being here. So what is dual enrollment? Dual enrollment provides students in grades nine to 12 the opportunity to take college courses while in high school. Students will prepare college coursework, be prepared for college and career success, and work toward graduation requirements. The best part about being a dual enrollment student is you become an LACCD student. You can receive college and high school credit um, upon successful completion of the course, and you'll have an official college transcript. So what are the benefits of participating in dual enrollment? You as a student can earn college credits now. You can begin working on your college requirements, your general education, or your major preparation while in high school. It allows time to explore your interests and majors, and you can possibly earn a certificate when you finish your coursework. Um, classes can supplement enriched programs offered at Puck schools. Um, the best part is the classes we offer are closed to Puck students. So whatever class you guys are all enrolled in, it'll just be you and your classroom. Dual enrollment saves a lot of time because you can complete college faster. They're cost effective because they're free. And it's a college career indicator. You sort of pick and choose what you like and where you want to go and move forward. And the transition to college is pretty seamless. Um, you get a lot of college experience in high school. So by the time you're ready to transfer to high school, you have some experience of college underneath your belt. Um, next slide. What are the benefits of dual enrollment? Uh, as we said earlier, you can earn your high school diploma and meet your general education courses while in high school. Um, provides a wider range of courses for high school students allows the high school student to move toward their academic goals without having to wait for high school graduation. A lot of our certificates lead to jobs and you can have that job while you um, transfer into college. It also, this time for dual enrollment, knocks out some of the undergraduate degree courses. So you save time while in college taking the classes in high school. Um, lowers the cost for post-secondary education because a lot of the classes you take or all the classes you take in dual enrollment are completely free. So there's no financial obligation to enroll in these classes. It prepares you for college and career success. Whatever method you want to move into, you're prepared in high school for those um, opportunities. You will become, as a dual enrollment student, a part-time college student while on campus. Um, most students enrolled in dual enrollment are eligible to, to receive services, uses of the computer labs, tutoring, um, all sorts of services that we have on campus. And it's tuition free, as we keep saying, no need for financial aid. So um, college credits can fulfill high school requirements and college, college courses. Um, for example, history, you have history one in high school, you have a history um, requirement in college at the CSU as well. So you can um, take the course one time and hit it in three areas. The credits applied that you take at, in dual enrollment with LACCD can be transferable to another LACCD school. So for instance, if you decide to take a class at Mission, but your parents have to move out of the city and have to move to West LA, you can transfer to West LA College and those courses will still be accepted there. But also the greatest part is the classes you take in dual enrollment are 99% of the time CSU and UC transferable with the option of private universities and colleges as well. What can you expect as a dual enrollment student? This is the interesting part. You are more than likely going to meet with your college professor at your school two to three times per week. Um, most of the textbook reading and coursework will be done outside of the classroom. So it's very intensive college coursework in the class. And after class on your free times, you will be doing your assignments. The greatest part is there are fewer assignments. So you have fewer projects to complete throughout the summer, the semester, and those projects um, equal a larger percentage of your grade. So you get uh, more experience, more intensive coursework, but less actual work to do. 
What to expect as part of the dual enrollment program? Textbooks, but those are free, as well as any other materials you need for the class. What we do expect you to do as a dual enrollment student is communicate with your instructor. It's up to you as a student now to connect with your course instructor if you have questions or concerns with the material assignments, or maybe you're having trouble. Um, we can't communicate, and we'll go into that in a different slide, with the um, parents, but your students have to be responsible for their coursework. And we encourage students to speak with their instructor to get all the services they need and any help they need as well. The grades from dual enrollment are college um, courses, so they are official and will be on your college transcript. Um, and academic progress, just as any place else, 2.0 is passing and you are being satisfactory, but I know you're a good student, so we're gonna have higher um, point, grade point average than that. So the IGETC, we'll talk about that in the next slide. But the IGETSI pathway and the associate's degree are something that we can bring to your school and help you progress in your college um, experience. So students are able to complete an IGETSI while completing dual enrollment courses. I, completion of IGETSI makes students transfer ready to college while they're in high school. Um, and then most courses are CSU and UC transferable um, and you get credit for completing the IGETSI. Now, depending on how your school sets up the pathway program for dual enrollment, we may be eligible, you may be eligible to complete your associate's degree in high school. Just depends on what that looks like for your high school. So that's one of the things that you can actually uh, accomplish. And when you finish with your AA, if, if it's set up that way, you're transfer ready for college. Um, and some of the dual enrollment courses, if they plan it properly, uh, meet the requirements for associate's degree. So even if you don't finish your associate's in high school, you could transfer over to LA Mission or any one of the LACCD schools and finish your associate's degree there. So what the heck is an IGETC? The IGETC is the Intersegmental General Education Transfer Curriculum. I'm gonna read it exactly as it states in the ed code. The IGETC is a series of courses that California Community College students may complete to satisfy the lower division breadth general education requirements before transfer to the CSU and some colleges and majors at the at the UC campuses. So basically these are all, uh, Gagetsi is just the lower division classes you would need to take regardless of wherever you transfer, but you get to finish it in high school. So one issue that we may fall into is FERPA. And all this basically says is to mom and dad that your student is a college student and faculty and staff can no longer speak to the parents about students' grades. The student is responsible for their grades, uh, contacting their instructor, and notifying the schools of any um, help they, they need. Um, we are not allowed to give any student information to any of the parents related to the class. So things to keep in mind with that said, once the student completes the college application process, they are considered a college student, regardless of the age, regardless of the age level. And so due to that FERPA that I read in the previous slide, college personnel cannot communicate, um, can only communicate with the student um, or the high school about the student's grades. We can't speak to the parents. Um, that said, most classes will require students to log into Canvas so all the materials from the class will be on Canvas, very similar system to Schoology. Um, the other thing is your grades and your transcripts are, per are permanent. So we always support students to make sure that the grades um, are on par, C or better. Um, there's opportunity where if you're having some issues or if the coursework is difficult or if there's just a family emergency, um, we can, the instructor can drop you, you can ask, or you can drop yourself. Um, some programs only offer a portion of their classes offsite. For instance, chemistry, that's usually offered offsite or on our sites um, because they require lab or some classes require software uh, requirement, whereas the high school can't provide that service as we would require it. Um, some classes may require materials or online support like art supplies or ebooks, but we would provide those, those different materials for you. So that just ensures that the class is still free in all aspects. 
Other things to keep in mind, as we said before, and we have to make sure it's really, really clear, once your student becomes a college student, they literally have college responsibilities, which means that a D is not a passing grade. I don't actually know where a D a passing grade is, but it's not a passing grade. Um, courses, grades, grades at the, the class you take, the grades will affect your eligibility. So we always wanna be the best student in the class. We always wanna keep our grades high because um, lower grades will affect your financial aid, financial aid eligibility. If you get a C or better, congratulations, you have passed. You cannot repeat a course if it's a C or better. Um, a W is a withdrawal. If you can not successfully complete a course and it's too far into the semester, you are allowed to just leave the class with a W. It's absolutely 100% better than an F grade. And a W are counted toward a class, but we don't have to worry about that because everyone here are good students. So what do you need to be a successful student in dual enrollment? Well, here are some skill sets that we're looking for that you come with, you don't have to come with, but you do develop over time taking dual enrollment courses. A couple of the issues of the items that we look for students to actually develop over time is time management skill, note taking, test taking, stress management, goal setting, or skills, critical thinking, um, skills, problem solving adaptability, and oral written skills. You'll find that all of these factors are a part of your dual enrollment because now you're a high school student balancing dual enrollment courses at the same time. All of these skill sets will help you become a successful student throughout the dual enrollment process. Dual enrollment um, success, by, students who are participating in dual enrollment find success by attending and participating in class. It's very important. Your instructors will give you a syllabus the first day of class and let you know that you can only miss a day or two, three days or however many days of school. If you miss more than that, we will drop you from the class. So attendance and participation is very important. Um, you want to develop strong study skills. As we said, you don't have to start dual enrollment with these skill sets, but you will eventually develop them over time. Um, you keep up with the assignments, your reading and the homework, and you submit your assignments on time using Canvas, which we mentioned is very similar to Schoology. And you ask for help. You talk to the instructor. You can talk to the department chair. You can even talk to me, the dean, and ask for the support. But it's always there. It's always in Canvas available. It's always on campus, and it's completely free to you. We have um, computer labs, writing labs, tech labs, whatever you need to be a successful student. So here's the enrollment process, and this is all over the LACCD. You fill out that LACCD college application, which you find on any of our LACCD websites, and then you get a K through 12 form, which we meet with your counselors and designate certain classes for you to take. The student, the parent, and the school's counselor will sign off on that form. We're all agreeing that you're ready to take these classes and that you're willing to participate. And then once we have that K-12 form, we will enroll you into the class directly. No extra work on your side as well. But for middle schools, this process is a tiny bit different where we'll need special permit, but we handle that internally. So this whole process works for middle school students as well. Here are our contact information for LA Mission College. Um, I am the Dean, my email is there, and Ricardo Flores is the Services Assistant for Dual Enrollment. If there's any questions, please uh, feel free to email us at dualenroll at lamission.edu or um, contact us at the other two emails. Thank you, everyone.